So today is Tuesday. George is back to school tomorrow. Here at the minute. Winnie's already found the place on the back of the sofa. And today we got planned maintenance by Virgin. So the internet's going off. I did have a letter the other day saying Oh I did have a letter the other day saying I think it was nine till three. So when the internet goes off, we're going to have to get them out. There's no way George will put all day at home without tablets working, Netflix working. And Jordan half times a bit harsh, but... Plans and maintenance. Ugh. Luckily, I'm off work because if he was at home, she'd be stuck over them all day. <laughs> okay? Ooh. Are you being a good boy today? <laughs> mm? Mm? You gonna be a good boy today? Mm? Let me just find a comfy spot, look. Mm. I think we're gonna go to Amy's sisters today. We haven't been there for a little while and George has been coping really well on that when we went round so hopefully we get one see them for a few hours, a couple of hours. Look at this dog. Thank you. Delicious luck for the day. Swim, swim. Boogie, boogie. Down in the jungle where the stars are shining bright. Who can you see sway left and right? When the sway sway here and the sway sway there. Who's swaying left and swaying right? We are. Do they sing? You, me, anybody. So it is. What time is it? Eight o'clock. Matthew's just asked for his breakfast. He's having Nutella on toast. He doesn't have any butter. George normally has a bit of just um, toast and butter. At the minute he's eating crisps, though. Don't judge. He wants crisps. She has crisps. So Matthew's been having this Nutella. The size of this. Well, it's nearly like half gone already. Now today's gonna be a difficult day when they turn the internet off because Matthew's been explained it's been explained to him that the internet's gone off. So he'll get annoyed for five minutes but then accept it. George won't accept it all day. So we've got to get him out. So we will be going to Amy's sisters today. The weather is bad, it's wet, it's cold. So I don't know how much he's gonna be able to do at Amy's sisters because he likes going out on trampoline. Which he can probably do, but we don't know how wet it's going to be if it's really raining. Obviously, he's not going to go out. But anyway, Amy's still in bed, which is her first, my first full day off in a week. When he's been, I don't know what she's waiting for. She's got food in the bowl. She's got water. She's probably waiting for human food. But yeah. It's been a bit of a hectic week, but George is back to school tomorrow. And Matthew's not back until next Monday, so Matthew has an extra few days of George at school, him at home, which is nice for him. Give him a bit of time with Amy whilst I'm at work, and give him a bit of time to do some schoolwork, maybe some reading and stuff in the quiet. So that's the plan. We'll bring you along with us in a hectic ride today. You boys playing nicely together? Thomas! Thomas!
Go, George. What are you doing here? And why did you come in so fast? Thomas! Because he broke my line, look. Watch your hair. So we've decided. George wanted to go to the playground. Try playground. Again. Try again. Show us again. Yeah. Come then. Yeah. Whoa! Well done. Yeah, George wanted to go to the playground. Um, Amy wanted to walk the dog, so we've decided to walk the dog. Well, Amy and Matthew are walking the dog, and George is in the playground. There's nobody else in here. So, that's good going. It's freezing now. We're out on the edge of the moors, on the edge of Dartmoor. George likes this thing, but his bounce is a little thimble up. <laughs> um, so, George has got his wellies on, Matthew's got his wellies on, I've got my boots on, Amy's got her boots on, and the dog is running around after one of those big catapult ball things. So, ah! You okay? You alright, mate? You done with daddy? Hiya! Hey, oh, you yeah? oh, you got your... Show us your wellies, show me your wellies. He's got his Toy Story tracksuit on. If you can see it, there's the tracksuit there. And he's got Woody, which he's obviously gonna throw around. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film because being in the park with him, he's like, what she doesn't get to no good. Like climbing this tree and falling out and breaking his leg again. So I'll catch you in a little bit.
coaching slash we didn't do it before. Us. Huh? The rain is coming. It's really wet. It's cold. I don't know if we're going to be able to stay. Go on, man. Oh, nearly. Nearly. <laughs> Try it, man. Try it again. Yeah. Yes. Well done. Evening. The time is just coming up to ten past seven. Boys have just gone to bed. Um, the internet didn't even end up going off in the end. But we took them out to the Crapstone and to the park. The dog had a good run around. Um, Matthew was complaining that he was too cold, so I've realised now's the time I've got to buy him a new, him and George, a new winter coat. Um, so yeah, we did that and then got them dinner on the way home. And um, now we're both in our comfies. Makeup off, not Adam's, mine. Hair up. Anyway, so what I wanted to show you quickly, just to give you an idea, because we've obviously said before in our vlogs that the boys were premature, um, George found this on the top of his wardrobe. Now this is his memory box. And there's just a couple things that I want to show people just to get an idea of how small they were now. When they were in NICU, they told us that we had to get them something to wear. And this, just for reference, that's the size of my hand, is his preemie um, vest. It says P for precious. Um, and that was too big. For a while, that was too big. So there's that one. And the one lead that I've always liked to keep in is his blood pressure cuff. And that was way too big, um, but because obviously they can't reuse them, we've got to keep these things. Um, and his first, one of his first baby grows actually, which was huge on him for a while. My cat. Look at that. It's tiny. Aww. Doesn't make me broody or anything, but um, I like how. And his first pair of shoes, which they wore to their Auntie Lucy, her, her wedding, they had their little waistcoats on. These were their first pair of shoes. Oh, so cute. So the main thing that George found out of the little memory box that he wanted to keep, and actually Matthew wanted to keep as well, were their NICU dummies. Look at that. <laughs> George was actually a bit um, gutted, to be honest, and I wouldn't let him keep that. But I remember when they first started using him, it was like it covered their whole face. So yeah, now I need to find somewhere else to put this because I don't want George getting in it and, um, you know, destroying all the stuff and everything. So Matthew's is pretty much identical with all the leads and everything. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd put that into perspective for some people who wondered how small they were. Um, George is back to school tomorrow. Matthew's off for another week. Um, so we'll be walking him up to school in the morning and then hopefully get to do some point, something with Matthew. Uh, so yeah, Adam's on a day shift tomorrow. So it's all, all happening. So yeah, thanks for watching.